Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Monday, May 6th. Some funky news last night from Trumpy. Uh, so equities got smashed. Aussie gapped open lower. Euro yen gapped open lower. And now we're just watching the news feeds here. Um, everyone's basically waiting to see if China cancels, cancels their trip uh, for Wednesday. The vice premier of China just came out a few minutes ago and said they're going to delay the trip. Um, so it's not canceled yet, but they're going to delay it three days. So that leaves us in a still marginally negative sort of vortex here. Uh, course short still the way. Uh, we're trading this as best we can through these headlines. Course short Aussie still the way and less so Euro Yen now. We've actually squared our Euro Yen. We got given some Euro Yen on a low one last night. So we're really just course short Aussie and course short uh, S&P minis. The key for the minis is going to be 2880 technically. There will be a uh, sort of, I would say a vortex, sort of black hole below there. Um, obviously if we if we see it today uh, that will be insane considering we closed at 2950 last night. Um, so you want to be careful down here in front of 80 certainly in Europe London is out today so there'll be less liquidity and it's just less interesting um, until New York gets in and we really see what the big boys want to do uh, with the S&P but course short is the way uh, we just resold here on this pop uh, so we have a pretty tidy average 29.10 is your conservative cut. Um, you just got to watch the news. Got to watch the news feeds on this. As far as overall currencies are concerned, uh, Euro dollar is in the middle of nowhere here. 111.90, not much to say. We closed at 112.03. We opened a little bit lower because of the Euro yen, but nothing really uh, jumping out at me. Cable looks pretty constructive, but again, total middle of nowhere, so no real no real focus on that. Dollar Swiss got pounded a bit because of this risk off metric. Bearish engulfed on Friday. My concern with Dollar Swiss is from what I've read, retail is very short Dollar Swiss. And this obviously never ends well um, when retail gets a big position. They almost unanimously never get it right, uh, so I'm a little bit concerned with that. But don't have a don't have a dog in this fight now. We gave up on um, dollar longs on Friday after that very very low uh, wage inflation number. Dollar yen big gap, bearish close on Friday. Big gap open today. Uh, this looks. This looks like a sell-on rally to me. You can actually start selling it here between 80 uh, and 05. We talked about the weekly chart a couple weeks ago, and now we really have just a sort of cascading series of weekly, lower weekly highs and lower weekly lows. Dollar-yen looks set to go lower as far as uh, we're concerned here and as far as the technical, technical picture. Um, so, selling high ones in dollar yen is is uh, is a nice tactic today. Between eighty and oh five, um, and your cut's gonna be just above this here. So just above, call it twenty. So just budget that in uh, in case it's wrong. But we do like dollar yen lower. This will obviously follow standard risk metrics which is basically just Chinese news. 
what else sterling yen uh sterling side positive yen side negative so sterling yen's not doing anything you still have to watch this technical level here 143.77 so far away but it's worth mentioning um this is important our old pal dollars are bearish engulfed uh on Friday, now it's back smack middle of the range. This actually looks like it's probably going to go higher, but you got to be careful now. This is all one trade. Um, this China thing isn't going to directly affect EM, but it will negatively affect EM as the global economy slows with higher tariffs. But this is the same exact trade as short S and P's, slightly more volatile. Um, but depending how big your short position is, S and P's, you don't want to just go willy nilly, uh, you know, smashing every EM currency. It, it, it's basically the same position. So pick your poison here. If you're more comfortable in the currency space, uh, we do like dollars are higher. There will be stops uh, above 14.58. It's a percent away, but with this kind of news flow and this kind of um, price action in equities, a percent uh, could get could get done pretty quickly. Aussie yen obviously eviscerated, uh, big big gap, and way lower. Aussie dollar less so, but now we're firmly under firmly under this um, seventy cents. And we got central bank news this week. We got RBA, I believe, tomorrow, right? Uh, yeah. No, RBNZ tomorrow. Could have sworn we had RBA this week. Yeah, sorry. RBA, Tuesday. Tuesday morning, uh, European time, around 6.30. There's about a 40% chance for a cut. So, obviously, you're going to be core short today. Uh, we we sold 90s on the bounce. And then we've been trading this thing um, throughout the Asian session. Uh, core short Aussie is the way forward. And then you're just going to have to see what your average is going into RBA. Uh, keeping in mind there's likely going to be a squeeze at some point, maybe late in the day today, heading into the RBA. So, got to keep that in mind. I'm just going to leave it at that. This is all very pretty straightforward now. Oil gets eviscerated as well. The story looks pretty good, uh, short stocks. But of course, it looked really, really good short stocks on Thursday, on Wednesday. Thursday doji, Friday the fuck you move. Today it's news driven, but bars don't lie. I mean, this is a big, this is 50 handles in the S&P. At one point it was down 60 handles. Um, short equities is the way. And one last uh, chart, as we talked last week, uh, we're selling DAX, we sold DAX. Um, 122750 <clears throat> 122750 um you can be short dax this obviously this candle you know the dax futures are are our dax futures we have dax futures here we're at uh 12237 now down through here on on the futures was important and you want to resell this now if you're not short. 12 to 80. DAX is up 25% uh, since the lows. Makes no sense at all. Slowing growth, manufacturing problems. Um, short DAX is also in, in, in the books here. So, voila. Obviously, we're risk off. Now it's just how you manage it. Uh, if you're squeamish, take the money and run because it's headlines if you think this is going to build into something which we do uh, stay core short and 
and wait for 2880 uh, and see how that looks, what time of day it is, and how it trades in S&Ps. Good luck, people. I will uh, talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.